Hello everyone, we will continue the topic lock object and in the previous video, we covered the introduction for the lock object. Now we will further dig down into the concept of lock object. Now in the previous video, we discussed, yes, if I am changing something, then at a time, other users cannot change at the same time. Now, what I will do, I will simply, simply go to SC11 transaction code. I'm closing other sessions. Just as of now, I have only one session that is of SCP easy access. As of now, I have only one session that is of SCP easy access. Just think, as of now, I'm changing anything. I'm not changing anything at all. Now we have most, most important transaction code in any interview. If someone is asking or conducting the interview from log object topic, this question will be definitely asked. We have one most important transaction code and what is the transaction code SM12? What is the purpose of this transaction code? The purpose of this transaction code is to see the lock entries. You can see if you can see the lock entries or we can say to display the lock entries. So whenever we want to display the lock entries, or whenever we want to see the lock entries, we can always, always go to SM12 transaction code. Just see, as of now, I'm not changing anything. It means I have not logged anything at all. So what I will do, I will firstly show you SM12. If I will go to SM12, nothing is open. I have nothing. This is the first transaction code I opened. I'm just clicking on to search button. You will see SM12 is completely, completely blank as of now because there's no log entry because I have not logged anything. I'm not changing anything at all. Now, suppose I will go to SC11 transaction code. Now I'm going to SC11 transaction code. As of now, I just opened SC11 transaction code. I'm not changing anything at all. If I'm not changing anything, it means nothing is logged from my end. So if I will show you this particular SM12 as of now, nothing, nothing is there as of now. Now I will simply, simply display this table. I'm still not changing. If I will not change, it means this table is not logged from my end. If I will again go for search, if you see nothing is there. Now I will go to the change mode of the table. Now I went to change mode of the table. So once I went to change mode, is this been logged by me? Yes. This is locked by me. So in this transaction code, you will see the lock entry. If I will go to search, have you seen one entry came into this particular transaction code? Extremely important transaction code. Once you are locking something, the entries are going to SM12 transaction code. Just see, this is my user ID. This is my login ID. I logged which particular table. This is the table which I logged at what time 136. I logged this particular table. So now the log entry is in SM12. Suppose I'm adding one or two columns in that table and my task has been done. Now I'm going to back button. Because I changed the table, whatever I want to do, I did with this particular table. Now just think, is this the table is logged now? Now the table is not logged. 
so entry will automatically be removed from which transaction for sm12 so there is nothing in the sm12 if you are not changing anything if there is no change then there is no lock so entry will automatically removed from which particular transaction port sm12 now the next next most important point from the interview perspective suppose i am going to change this table whenever i will go to change mode of the table the entry is coming into sm12 transaction port this is the entry this is the record suppose i will go to one more example suppose i am again going to sn sc11 transaction port suppose i am changing another table suppose i will go to item table also suppose i am changing item table also so i am locking two things so if i will go to this search button so you can see we have two lock entries one for the header table one for the item table now the question comes in many people mind is this data is coming from the database layer is this data of this locking is coming from database layer we all know database layer is saving the data it is a permanent storage of data but the question is coming whenever you are locking something entry we can check in sm12 is this data or records are coming from database layer no they are not coming from database layer it is coming from nq server nq server most most important point the lock entries are always always coming from the nq server and it is not permanent entries or something suppose if i will simply simply go to the back button so this entry gone there is nothing this one entry gone now suppose if i am going to display mode of the first table also so entry gone from this particular sm12 sm12 so log entries are never never coming from database layer they are never storing into any database table because they are the temporary entries temporary entries and it is coming from which particular server and q server and q server so if someone ask you that you are seeing log entries okay but log entries is coming from database table the answer is no no because they are not permanent entries they are not permanent storage or something they are the temporary entries once you are locking yes that particular entry is coming in sm12 and it is coming by which particular server nq server nq server and nq server is a part of application layer it is not a part of database or something so your log entries are never never permanent they are never permanent storage they are the temporary entries so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we cover two most important things first one is sm12 transaction code whenever you are changing something or what whenever you are locking something you can see the lock entry in sm12 ultimately lock entry is going into sm12 transaction port unless and until you are in display mode in sm12 the entry will not be there because sm12 is for the lock entries now the next question which comes into everyone mind yes in sm12 we are able to see the lock entries we are able to see the lock records are they coming from database layer are they coming from database table no 
they are not permanent entries they are temporary entries so these entries are coming from the nq server they are not permanent data or something now in the next video we will take a requirement and we will start with the practical part of log object. So that's it in this video. Thank you.